Good day, learners. Welcome to our science class. And again, I'm your science teacher, Ma'am G. And in this episode, we are going to discuss everything about an atom. We will explore things that cannot be seen by our little eyes. The atom and each sub atomic particles. For our most essential learning competency, determine the number of proton, neutron, and electron in a particular atom. For our objectives are to identify the atomic and mass number of an element. Give the number of protons or electrons in an element. And lastly, calculate the number of neutrons in an element. I hope you will enjoy our discussion. Okay, class, let us get started. For the past two weeks, matter and element were explained to you. As a sort of review, let us again define matter. What is matter? And what is an element? Matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. Solid, liquid, and gas are the different phases of matter. Bag, foot, Hairbrush, pen, and paper are some examples of matter. Plus, do you know that all matter is made up of atoms? Yes, they are. What about an element? Element is the simplest form of matter. Okay, let's have a short activity. Do you identify the symbol of the following elements? Carbon. Yes. C. Next. Oxygen. Yes. O. Hydrogen. Yes again. H. An example of elements. Again. Plus, do you know that elements are made up of atoms? Yes again. Matter is composed of tiny particles. Particle can be an atom or a molecule. Now let us talk about an atom. What is an atom? An atom is a Greek word, atomos, meaning indivisible. Indivisible simply means unable to be divided or separated. In Filipino, hindi mahati o hindi mapapag iwa-iwalay. It is the smallest particle of an element that has all the particles or properties of the element. Atom is measured in angstrom, where in one angstrom is equal to one tenth million of millimeter. It can be viewed using scanning, tunneling, microscope, or STM. Also, a particle can also be a molecule. A molecule is consists of two or more atoms combined together in a specific arrangement. It can be a combination of atoms of the same element or different elements. So, what makes up an atom? An atom are made up of three subatomic particles: proton, neutron, and electron. Nucleus, the center of an atom is composed of proton and neutron. It was discovered by Ernest Rutherford in 1911. Proton are positively charged particle found within the nucleus of an atom. Ernest Rutherford discovered proton in his cathode ray tubes experiment. The number of proton of an atom is called the atomic number. Hydrogen, for example, has one proton, thus its atomic number is one. The number of protons of an element is equal to the number of electrons. Electrons. Electrons are negatively charged particles found outside the nucleus of the atom, in the electron orbits or levels. Compared to proton and neutron, Electrons are many times smaller. J.J. Thomson discovered the electron in 
1897. The number of electrons of an element is equal to the number of protons, which is the atomic number of an element. Oxygen, for example, has an atomic number of 8. Thus, its number of proton and electron is also 8. Neutron. Neutron are neutral particles, which means that they have no electric charge. Neutrons help make up the nucleus of an atom. Ernest Rutherford theorized the existence of neutrons in 1920 and discovered by James Chadwick in 1932. The number of neutron of an element is equal to the mass number minus the number of protons of the element. Sodium, for example, has a mass number of 23 and an atomic number of 11. Get the number of neutron of sodium, subtract the atomic number 11 to the mass number 23. The answer is 12. This atom is defined as anything that has matter, mass, or take up space. It is made up of three subatomic particles, proton, neutrons, and electrons. So, let us now focus on this subatomic particles. Atoms always have as many electrons as protons. Atoms usually have about as many neutrons as protons. For example of this, the hydrogen, it has one proton, one electron, with no neutron. Helium has two protons, two electrons, and two neutrons. Carbon has six protons, six electrons, and six neutrons. Adding a proton makes a new kind of atom. Adding a neutron makes an isotope of that atom, a heavier version of that atom. A proton has a positively charge, yet is located in nucleus. Neutron, on the other hand, have no charge. Similar to proton, it is also located in the nucleus. Electrons have negative charge. It orbits the nucleus of an atom and are very small, basically no mass. In a neutral atom, there are same number of protons and electrons. Ions are the name for atoms that have gained or lost one or more electrons, leaving them with a net charge. Cation is an ion with positive charge, which means it has more proton, positively charged particles, than electrons, negatively charged particles. Cation are formed when an atom loses one or more electrons. The loss of the negatively charged electron result in one overall positive charge. Meanwhile, an anion is an ion with negative charge, meaning it has more electrons than protons. Anions are formed when an atom gains one or more electrons. The gain of the negatively charged electron results in an overall negative charge. And now, let us tackle atomic number. Atomic number is the number of protons. It is always a whole number. It is used to determine what kind of element or atom you have. Furthermore, it tells us the number of electrons in a neutral atom. Next is the mass number. It is equal to the number of protons and neutrons. It is equal to the mass of the nucleus. Mass number are in decimal form, which need to be rounded to a whole number when used. Okay class, did you understand the lesson? Now, let us have a very simple activity. Activity number one, build an atom. Identify the number needed to complete the identity of an atom. Challenge number one, what is the mass number of the atom of this element, hydrogen? Very good! One is the correct answer. Challenge number two. 
What is the net charge of the atom of this element? Chlorine. Excellent! The answer is 1, negative 1. Challenge number 3. What is the mass number of the atom of this element, magnesium? Correct. The answer is 24. Challenge number 4. What is the next charge of the atom of this element, hydrogen? Very good. The answer is positive one. And the last one, challenge number five. What is the atomic number of the atom of this element? Excellent. The answer is two. To wrap up these lessons, always remember that all matters are made up of atoms. Atom part in the busy ball. It is composed of three subatomic particles, the proton, electron, and neutron. The atomic number of an atom is always the same in number of each proton. The proton of an element is always equal to each electron. The mass number is the sum of the proton and neutron. Neutron is mass number subtracted to the number of protons when charge of an element is equal to proton. I hope everyone understands our lesson for the day. But before we end, remember that value little things in your life. Bigger things will never be completed without them. Goodbye class. Have a great day. And God bless us all. Bye-bye.